So I'm Miri Villiard. I'm a visual artist based in Duluth, Minnesota. I grew up on the Fond du Lac Reservation in Cloquet, and um, I do pretty much everything freelance art right now. So I do graphic design, public art, video, all the things. And this project is the Chief Buffalo Memorial Mural Site. It's been a project I've been leading for the last three years. I guess it started because the idea was kind of floating around a bit. It was like one of those like cross-pollinations of ideas where everybody kind of thought about it and nobody had done it yet. And so there's an organization back in 2019 called Zeitgeist, who's one of our partners on this project. And they had reached out to the Indigenous Commission we have here in Duluth at the city level and asked, what kind of art could go on these walls? I'd heard the name, like as an indigenous person, you know, you hear it's like ceded territory and something, something chief buffalo, but I didn't know anything about it. And so whenever I don't know something, I like to make art about it. We started with this pictograph wall and a community painting session. And I brought in Michelle Defoe, who's a Red Cliff artist, which is the same tribe as Chief Buffalo. And we started just with those three walls and it became very apparent that people wanted all of these beige walls, you know? 20 plus beige walls to be turned into something else and they wanted it to like continue the story. Specifically this past year, we brought on two other artists who are Turtle Mountain Ojibwe artists. We've had over 500 people help paint the walls or design a fish. Theme-wise, like if you walk through, uh, you'll see sort of like the florals. So Michelle Defoe, she does this floral artwork. You'll see stuff like this, which is more of like our stories. So we've got like a, a water panther and a thunderbird. We've got our creation story kind of at the entrance. And those are by Wayne and Bruce. Sylvia Houle has been working on more of like interpretations of Chief Buffalo's time. So she has kind of like a, a representative image of like the Sandy Lake tragedy, which is the beginning story of why Chief Buffalo is really significant to this specific area. And then myself, I've worked on the more realistic um, pieces which show people alive because I think we have a lot of memorial artwork and especially in like BIPOC communities, like there's lots of like, okay, someone has died, let's commemorate them. But there's also something really, you know, it's never balanced out, I guess. And so my goal as an artist is always to then to celebrate people while they're alive. Like who says you can't paint a person who's just cool? So I hope people get an authentic taste of many different aesthetics, many different visuals, historical imagery and contemporary imagery. At least for me, it means life, you know, and I think for the community, it's going to contribute to some sense of vitality because generally when you see like native stories or native people or native representation in the news, it's always something really sad, you know. Um, it's always a loss or, you know, something is taken. And so to have an entire space where it, you can feel good, you know, and see the positive side and see, again, history or like we've seen youth take their senior photos here and like seeing those photos and being like, yes, like that's what this is for. Like it's for the community to use it and reclaim it and it's there.